a David versus Goliath battle. This is the story of Wai Jun Tang, a man who has taken on a monumental challenge, much like David did against Goliath, introducing Wai Jun Tang's fight for justice. This is not just any fight, it's a battle that has captured the attention of many, raising eyebrows and questions about the very fabric of our legal system, Wei Zhentang. Remember that name? He's a Chinese-Canadian businessman who has found himself at the center of a storm, a storm that he believes is unjust and unwarranted. He claims he was wronged. Tang insists that the accusations against him are baseless and that he has been unfairly targeted, wronged by the Canadian government. He argues that the legal actions taken against him are not just a personal attack, but a reflection of systemic issues within the government. It's a story of alleged persecution. Tang believes that he is being made an example of a scapegoat in a larger narrative that seeks to undermine his credibility and achievements. A story of one man against a powerful system. Tang's fight is important. It's a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the lengths one will go to in order to seek justice. It raises questions about justice. What does it mean to be just? How do we ensure that justice is served fairly and without bias? It highlights the struggles of an ordinary person. Tang's story is not just about him. It's about every individual who has ever felt powerless against a larger entity. He's fighting for his reputation. A reputation that he has built over years of hard work and dedication. He's fighting for his beliefs. Beliefs that are deeply rooted in his sense of justice and fairness. This isn't just about money, it's about principle. Tang's fight transcends financial concerns. It's about standing up for what is right. It's about holding those in power accountable. Ensuring that they do not misuse their authority and that they are held to the same standards as everyone else. Tang's story is a reminder. A reminder that justice is not always easily attained and that the path to it can be fraught with obstacles. A reminder that the pursuit of justice can be long and hard. It requires perseverance, courage and an unwavering belief in one's cause. But he's not giving up. Despite the challenges, Tang remains steadfast in his quest for justice. He's determined to clear his name, to restore his reputation and to prove that he has been wronged. He wants the truth to come out. Tang believes that the truth is on his side and that it will ultimately prevail. Tang has taken his fight to the public, speaking at events and rallies, sharing his story and garnering support from those who believe in his cause. His supporters rally behind him, believing in his innocence and the righteousness of his fight. The legal battle is ongoing, with courtrooms and legal documents becoming the battleground for this David versus Goliath fight. Tang's family stands by him, offering their unwavering support and believing in his innocence. The media has also taken an interest in Tang's case, with coverage highlighting the complexities and nuances of his fight for justice. Through it all, Tang's determination and resilience shine through, serving as an inspiration to many. He has become a symbol of hope and justice, a reminder that even in the face of overwhelming odds, one can still fight for what is right. As Tang continues his fight, he remains hopeful that justice will prevail and that his name will be cleared. Tang's story is complex. It's a labyrinth of events and circumstances that seem almost impossible to navigate. It involves intricate financial transactions, transactions that span across borders and involve multiple entities, making it difficult to trace the flow of money. It involves alleged government misconduct, Misconduct that raises questions about the integrity of those in power and their intentions. Tang claims he was targeted. Targeted by individuals who saw him as a threat or an easy target due to his unique position. Targeted because of his ethnicity. He believes that his background made him a scapegoat in a larger scheme. Targeted because of his wealth. He alleges a conspiracy. A conspiracy that involves powerful figures who wanted to strip him of his assets a conspiracy to deprive him of his assets. He points to irregularities, irregularities in legal proceedings. These irregularities suggest that the system was manipulated against him. He claims evidence was ignored. Evidence that could have proven his innocence was conveniently overlooked. Evidence that would have cleared his name. Evidence that was crucial in proving his side of the story. Tang's case is a tangled web, a web that is difficult to untangle due to the many layers of complexity involved a web of accusations and counter-accusations. 
Each party involved has their own version of the truth, making it hard to discern the reality. It's a story that demands attention, a story that has captured the interest of many due to its controversial nature, a story that raises serious concerns, concerns about justice, fairness, and the integrity of the system that is supposed to protect us all. Tang's battle has come at a cost, a steep cost. He's poured his resources into legal battles. He's facing mounting legal fees. His finances have been drained. This is a common tactic, a tactic used to silence critics, to make them back down. But Tang is different. He refuses to be intimidated. He's representing himself in court. He's studying law. He's learning the intricacies of the legal system. Tang's determination is remarkable. He's not a lawyer by trade, but he's become a formidable legal adversary. Imagine this, standing alone in a courtroom, facing a team of experienced lawyers. That's Tang's reality. He's chosen to represent himself. It's a bold move, a risky move. But Tang is not afraid. He sees it as a badge of honor. He's fighting for his beliefs. He's standing up for what he thinks is right. Tang's self-representation is a testament, a testament to his unwavering spirit, a testament to his belief in his own innocence. Section 5, rallying the public, Tang's appeal for support. Tang knows he can't do this alone. He's appealing to the public. He's sharing his story. He's asking for support. He's using social media. He's reaching out to journalists. Tang's message is resonating. People are listening. They're outraged by his story. They're offering support. Tang's case is becoming a rallying cry, a cry against injustice, a cry for transparency. Section 6, Echoes of Other Battles. Tang's case in a wider context. Tang's story is not unique. It's a story echoed throughout history. David and Goliath, the little guy against the powerful. Think of whistleblowers, think of activists, think of ordinary people who dared to challenge the system. These individuals faced adversity. They faced ridicule, but they persevered. They fought for what they believed in. Tang's case is a reminder. A reminder that one person can make a difference. A reminder that speaking truth to power is essential. Tang's story is not unique. It's a narrative that has been repeated countless times across different eras and societies. From ancient times to the modern day, the struggle of the individual against overwhelming odds is a timeless tale. It's a story echoed throughout history, David and Goliath. The biblical tale of a young shepherd defeating a giant warrior is a powerful metaphor for the underdog's fight against a seemingly invincible foe, the little guy against the powerful. Think of whistleblowers, think of activists. These are the modern day Davids standing up against the Goliaths of corporate and governmental power. Think of ordinary people who dared to challenge the system. These individuals faced adversity, they faced ridicule, but they persevered. They stood firm in their convictions, often at great personal cost. They fought for what they believed in. Their courage and determination have inspired others to take up the mantle of justice and continue the fight. Tang's case is a reminder, a reminder that one person can make a difference. It shows that even in the face of overwhelming odds, the voice of truth can resonate and bring about change. A reminder that one person can make a difference. Tang's actions have had a ripple effect, inspiring others to stand up and speak out. A reminder that speaking truth to power is essential. It is through these acts of courage that societies evolve and injustices are addressed. Tang's case is not just a personal battle, it is part of a larger movement towards accountability and transparency. Section 7, Trump and Tang fighting back against the system. Think about Donald Trump. He was investigated, he fought back, he used his platform, he rallied his supporters, he never gave up, he proclaimed his innocence, he questioned the motives of his accusers. Tang is doing the same. He's using his voice. He's challenging the narrative. He's demanding accountability. He's not backing down. He's in it for the long haul. Section 8. The stakes are high Tang's quest for vindication. Tang's fight is about more than just money. It's about clearing his name. It's about restoring his reputation. It's about justice. 
He wants to be vindicated. He wants the truth to be known. This fight has taken a toll. It's been emotionally draining. It's been financially draining. But Tang remains resolute. He believes in his cause. He believes he will prevail. Section 9, the importance of Tang's fight, a beacon for others. Tang's case is important. It raises questions about power. It raises questions about fairness. It highlights the importance of a just legal system, a system that treats everyone equally. Tang's fight is a reminder, a reminder that we must hold our institutions accountable, a reminder that we must speak out against injustice, a reminder that we must fight for what we believe in. Section 10, Tang's vision, a future free from persecution. Tang's vision is clear. He wants a world free from persecution, a world where justice prevails, a world where everyone is treated fairly. He's fighting for that vision. He's fighting for a better future. Tang's story is a call to action, a call to fight for what's right, a call to stand up for the oppressed, a call to create a more just and equitable world.